Hello, I'm Ray Hearn and I play drums for Haken. How did I get into playing drums? Um, well, I started when I was about 12, uh, almost by accident actually. Um, I tried to sign up for drum lessons at school and it turned out the waiting list was too long for me to even remember that I was on it. And then a few months later, um, I got a note through the door to go to my drum lesson, which I completely forgot I'd signed up for. So yeah, and um, kind of, just went from there really, played in bands at school and not, not long after that kind of met the Haken guys. I'm playing the Birch Natal Originals kit with an exotic burst finish and it's really wonderful, I love it. We've got an 8, 10, 12 rack toms and a 16 inch floor, 22 inch kick. But I'm also quite familiar with the rest of Natal's kits. Um, when we were touring Vector with Haken, I used a red acrylic kit, which I still have, and that's phenomenal. I absolutely love that kit as well. My kit over in the US, I've got a red sparkle maple kit, which I love too. Again, it's the same kind of setup. So I've developed a little bit of a the collection over the last few years really and uh, I do do love all of them to be fair. So how did I kind of get to this sort of setup? Well, when I started playing drums, I was playing a slightly bigger setup in some ways because I was playing 12 and 13 toms, which were quite deep. And I felt they were almost kind of too much to manage in that space, which sounds ironic because I put more stuff in that space now. But um, yeah, I really like the 10 and the 12. And I also like the fact that they're shallower because you can get them nice and low. Um, and they've just got a great sound, great attack. And then, yeah, the addition of the 8-inch. Who doesn't love an 8-inch tom? Pretty much any time I turn up to a gig with the 8-inch, whoever else is drumming that night is always like, oh man, the 8-inch sounds great. And then the 16, again, I've played 14s as well in the past, but I just think the 16 really has a lot of beef to it compared to the 14. So the differences in the kind of sounds of the sort of different uh, kits that I've used, whether it be the birch um, or the acrylic or the maple, obviously the acrylic's got quite a big punchy sound. Um, the maple's a little bit warmer. Um, the birch probably a bit more attack, a bit more of a sort of clean sound. But honestly, they're all fantastic. One thing I really love about them is how well they tune as well, which can be quite tricky. Um, with drums to get them to tune accurately and stay in tune. Especially when you're in the studio and I record quite demanding drum parts that are quite long and sometimes I have to dip in and out of the song while I'm recording. So having that consistent sound and tone from the drum is super important when you're sort of flipping between takes, for example. So what's it like working with Natal and, and what does Natal mean for me? Um, well, for a start, they're a local company. They're based around an hour from where I live. You know, there's lots of international companies that probably are nowhere near where I am. So having that local base is, is really, really nice. It kind of feels almost like a 
family. The support's been amazing, pretty much everything I've ever asked for since I started with Natal. They've, they've just given me and I still, I'm still kind of pinching myself to be honest because from the very first time I was in this room, I don't know, five or six years ago to now, every time I come in here, every, like the answer to every question is just yes. Yes, we can do that. Yes, we can give you this. And I'm just like, but how? Like, <laughs> you're too generous. <laughs>